Welcome and today I'm going to talk about my 2024 video, Biden vs. the Sands, and if Trump runs third party. So, the GOP had a horrible midterm and a lot of people are switching to Ron DeSantis, so let's start. So for the west coast, these states would be easy wins for Joe Biden of course alongside California. All of these would be huge margins for the Democrats and uh, it would be even bigger than what 2020 was and easily these two could be 30% 30 uh, 30 because of the vote split and California could be 40% which is insane to th even think about. And don't forget that uh, Donald Trump may actually run a third party if he feels like uh, Ron DeSantis robbed him of the nomination. So, uh, well, Hawaii, another easy win for Joe Biden. That would be maybe even Obama 2008 sort of a uh, huge landslide win. Furthermore, for New Mexico and Colorado, those would also go by a safe margin. Colorado would, of course, uh, go to Joe Biden by a really high margin. I'm guessing 25 plus, if not more. It could even be 35. It really depends on how much Trump would split the ticket and the voters. And New Mexico also safe plus. And uh, furthermore, Minnesota, Michigan, and Pennsylvania would also be in the safe category i think pennsylvania would barely be in the safe category i'm not too sure what the margin would be for uh for joe biden but it for sure it would for sure be another huge win for joe biden and now uh for these west coast states uh there wouldn't be any competitive uh races here of course uh huh right here new york that would be another one for joe biden now for new hampshire new hampshire would even go further to the left than now uh, at 2020 and uh, another landslide win for the democrats there 20 percent maybe even more and main at large uh, alongside uh the first district would go to the democrats by a uh, margin perhaps mid 30s or even more and before i forget uh illinois nevada would of course be there sorry about that so illinois would be a safe win even higher than 2008 obama and nevada would also be a similar story where uh joe biden would, would win there by a uh, higher amount of a safe margin alongside the second district of nebraska which would be a safe a safe win for the democrats so already you can see that if donald trump runs third party it basically ruins the chances of Ron DeSantis becoming president. Which is why there is no safe states for either one of these candidates. But for the likely states, uh, I do think Ron DeSantis would be able to win a lot of these uh, really deep red states like Utah, Idaho. You could make a case for safe Wyoming or lean D or I should say lean R Wyoming. It really depends on how the demographics look like for Ron DeSantis. Uh, one of the polls recently does show Ron DeSantis support coming in from uh, college edu educated people and boomers, which I will look more into that if that is true. And uh, Arkansas, of course, uh, easy W for Ron DeSantis. Uh, we would see some reversals like we had not seen maybe since 2000 uh, around that margin. So yeah, it would be huge win for the Democrats. Uh, Mississippi, mm, I'm gonna think about it in a second. Alabama, of course, goes for Republicans. Tennessee, uh, you could make a case that the more you move to the Rust Bowl, the, the closer it would be. I think that is kind of a good uh, point. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's it for the likely states for Ron DeSantis. So uh, there is one likely state. For Donald Trump, and I think uh, it's because the ideology of Donald Trump really would suit in West Virginia, I think uh, West Virginia would go for Donald Trump. Uh, it does kind of match up that a lot of that former Democrats now turned Republicans, uh, a lot like Donald Trump, and he does have that appeal in this in this forgotten area of the Rust Belt, you could say. And uh, yeah, he Donald Trump would win here. I think that's probably the best best state he has a shot at and now for the likely states for joe biden uh, joe biden would would win here in arizona it would be close to a safe margin but it would likely be uh i'm going to say mm, around 10 percent or around that margin who knows really and uh wisconsin of course that one sticks out like a sore thumb it would eh, 
it, it could easily be a safe state for the Democrats. It depends on how of how good Donald Trump does at splitting the vote. Because if he gets less than parole numbers, then uh, Wisconsin would be likely. But if he does better than Ross Perot and gets 25% around that margin, then you could see Wisconsin really be a safe margin. But who knows? He could, he could have a stinker and just get like 12% or something like that. Who knows? And now, uh, moving on to... The next one would be North Carolina. So, North Carolina has always been one of those states, one of those states for the Democrats that is always, almost always, uh, out of reach except in 2008. And with this uh, a split and division within the GOP, Joe Biden would win here by a similar margin as Arizona, maybe a bit less, but it really wouldn't matter. Still a, a Democrat win. And that's it for the likely states. So, let's go to the lean states. Uh, first of all, for Ron DeSantis, I still think he would be able to win here. In North Dakota, it would be a bit closer than compared to South Dakota, I think. I'm not too sure the margins, but I'm gonna show you the fa final map because the margins could easily change, by the way. Uh, if this does actually happen, you could see some insane margins and differences, but North Dakota would barely go for Ron DeSantis because uh, Donald Trump may do better in this area, or I should say this state. And down to the south were Mississippi. Mississippi, I think, would be quite divided between Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis, which would make it perhaps easier for Joe Biden to win Mississippi, which is weird to, to say. But I still think uh, DeSantis has the advantage, and he would win here by a really close margin, around 2 to 4%, just like North Dakota. And now for Indiana, where I actually do have Ron DeSantis winning here this could be one of the pickups possible for for donald trump if he does better uh hypothetically in a third party run it would be really close but i do give uh ron DeSantis. uh i do have him winning here by one to three percent and uh is that it let me check oh wait uh of course uh, uh nebraska at large i do have ron DeSantis, and uh, ne the first district i also have ron DeSantis winning there it would really really come down and uh, you could even see Joe Biden winning the first district if things really get ugly in the in a hypothetical timeline but this is just a video I just wanted to do after the midterms and just some fun and uh, uh, and now for the uh, length states for Joe Biden for the president firstly for Texas it would actually be the first time in a long long while Jesus it would have to go even farther in time to see when Texas flipped blue in 1976 with Jimmy Carter and Joe Biden, just like LBJ, because of the vote splitting, would be able to win here by a lean margin. I think will be 2-4%. to 4%. I think uh, Ron DeSantis would likely come in second, almost 100% sure about that, but Donald Trump would get, would get rid of a lot of voters that Ron DeSantis would need to win here. And now for Florida, so Florida is really hard to predict. I think Ron DeSantis would have a lot of appeal, but there's still a lot of Trump fans that would ruin the party. For Ron DeSantis, which is why I do have this, going for Joe Biden uh, by a really close margin of 2% 2, 2 to 4% in this timeline where Donald Trump runs as a third party and the second district of Maine. Not much to say here, but it would, it would just go for Biden because of the vote splitting, simply put, it would, it would be closer than the rest of the state, but still, uh, one to, um, I'm gonna say 2 to 4%, it could even be likely, it depends on so many things, but we will see. For Ohio, Ohio would go back to, to Joe Biden and the Democrats, uh, it would, it would, it could actually be similar to the margin we saw in, in 2012, and I have this going for Joe Biden by a lean margin. And uh, almost done, Iowa will be quite close. Uh, Iowa could even be a tilt state or even a, a DeSantis or uh, Donald Trump. I think DeSantis maybe, but it would be a state. Mm, it would just be lean. I don't think it has been lean for a while. So I have Joe Biden winning here by 1-3%. to And Alaska. Alaska, because of the ranked choice voting and all that sort of stuff, it's really hard to... Predict who would win here. You could even see Ron DeSantis be the winner here, but I'm going to say just like Iowa, same idea. Lindy, uh, Joe Biden win. 
Oh wait, I almost forgot. Oklahoma uh, would be uh, Linar. Run the Santa's one. It would drop. It wouldn't drop you below this. And I see the Santa's one here by the same margin as North Dakota. So yeah, I think that's it, if I'm not mistaken. And now for the tilt states, uh, uh, let's go with Ron DeSantis, and Ron DeSantis, uh, he would be able to win, I think he would be able to win maybe, uh, Missouri by a tilt margin, or alongside Louisiana, it would be really close, and I could see almost anyone win these states, I could see Joe Biden winning here, maybe even Donald Trump winning Missouri, uh, Louisiana, who knows, their politics is really oh, one of the most unique ones in the country so i could even see fine one in there but I really told margins in those states furthermore uh the third district in nebraska would go to ron DeSantis by a tilt margin i it could really be anyone's game here i don't know who would win there but i doubt joe biden would it's basically a race between donald trump and ron DeSantis, and uh, DeSantis likely would have the momentum if he gets the nomination and finally, for Kansas, I do have Joe Biden winning here by a tilt margin. I do think the state is trending to the left. I'm not too sure by how much, but we will see. I think it will be narrow of uh, Joe Biden win. And Montana would... It's anyone's game. This is a coin toss between all three candidates. I could see anyone winning here, but it's probably going to be between DeSantis and Joe Biden. And I have Biden only winning here because of the vote split between Ron DeSantis and Donald Trump. And I do have... South Carolina going for Joe Biden, I think. It is another state that is trending to the left. Uh, it is trending to the left, which is why I do see barely it going for Joe Biden. And as you can see, Biden wins with 435 electoral votes. While DeSantis only gets 99 electoral votes and Donald Trump only gets 4 electoral votes. But wait, here's a map to paint a better picture for you, so... This is more accurate and more uh, easier to look at compared to the other map. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video.